Hello everybody, I am Miss Macho and in this video we are going to be talking about the Rocket League plugin Alpha Console for Bacchus Mod, what it can do and how to use it. If you want to get straight into the installation process and how to use Alpha Console, jump to the marker in the video timeline. If you are here, you are probably already aware that Bacchus Mod has a cool ability to add any pre-existing item in the game to your car. Any decals, goal explosions, and yes, you can even use the famous Alpha Boost if you would like. What the plugin Alpha Console can do is give the user the ability to add things that aren't pre existing in the game, like you see on my screen. You want a custom decal that represents your brand, your stream, or something you like? You got it! You want your car to look like a rubber duck? You could do that too. What you do in Alpha Console is for your pleasure and your pleasure only. Nobody else in the game can see it. So if I haven't already sold you on how awesome Alpha Console is just based on those points, then maybe it's not for you. But for the people that are fun and creative and already know you want it, let's get in how to install and use it. You'll first want to make sure Bacchus Mod and Rocket League are open. If you haven't already installed Bacchus Mod, watch my how to install Bacchus Mod video that you can find the link to in this video's description. Once you have done that, you can proceed to the first step of installing Alpha Console. Once Bacchus Mod and Rocket League are open, go to your web browser and search bacchusplugins.com. For me, Alpha Console is one of the first items listed on the page that shows up. But if you do not see it there, you can always type it in the search bar. Once you go to the Alpha Console page, there will be a blue button that says Install with Bacchus Mod. When you click that button, you might be greeted with a pop-up asking if you want the Bacchus Mod link to open the plugin installer. You want to click open on this because if you don't, the installation process will not proceed. A black window will then appear on your screen. As long as Bacchus Mod and Rocket League are open, this window should very quickly say the plugin has been installed at the very bottom. If Rocket League is not open, it will inform you that the plugin will finish installing next time you open the game. Once you see this, you can close the window, the web browser, and then close and reopen Rocket League because we're gonna make sure it was installed properly before moving forward. Once Rocket League has loaded up again, press the F5 button on your keyboard. This should open up the Alpha Console interface similar to the Bacchus Mod one. If the interface opens, congratulations! We have installed Alpha Console, but we are not done. Now I'll walk you through where to put files and how to set up your car for an Alpha Console decal because currently, as this car is set up, it will not work. Before anything, you'll need to find a custom skin. For this video, I will be walking you through how to set up an Octane decal I made for Rain Esports. You can find a link to it in the video description. If you don't want to use that, you can also find a lot of skins at videogamemods.com. So first, you'll need to go to the Google Drive link and download the zipped file for the decal. You'll then need to go to your file explorer, find the zipped file, and unzip it. After you unzip that file, ideally leave this file explorer window open because we'll be coming back to it later. Next, go over to the Bacchus Mod window on your desktop. In Bacchus Mod, go to File and then Open Bacchus Mod Folder. This will open up a new file explorer window within your Bacchus Mod folder structure. You'll then want to go to Data, AC Plugin, and then whatever folder you're adding a skin for. In this video's case, we are doing a decal, so we'll be going to the Decal Textures folder. Alpha Console currently comes with some content by default, so yours will look like mine. Now, we need to go back to the unzipped file we were dealing with earlier. So in your separate file explorer window that I told you not to close, go to that folder, copy it, and paste the whole thing in the Decal Textures folder. Just to make sure everything is correct, when you open that unzipped folder, you should see a text file and several PNGs. Now, I want you to close and reopen Rocket League. This is important because the new skins will not show up until you restart Rocket League. Once Rocket League is open again, we will need to do a few more things before we can set a custom decal in Alpha Console. These are very important steps. You cannot skip these or you will not see the decal. First, go to your garage and create a new preset. Name it something like Custom Car or Alpha Console, just so you remember what it's for. You will then want to edit your car preset and set it to the car the decal is made for. So in this case, an Octane. It doesn't matter if it's painted or not, it's your choice. Then, make sure there are no decals applied on the car. 
It can be whatever color and paint finish you want, just no decals. After that, press the F5 key on your keyboard and go to the Cosmetics tab within the Alpha Console interface. Scroll down until you find the category of your choice. In this case, we are doing a decal texture mod. Notice here how you have one drop down for the blue team and one for the orange team. This works the exact same as setting decals in your garage. Drop down the blue team and set the Rain Esports Home Octane decal. Once you do that, drop down the orange team and set the Rain Esports Away Octane decal. Your car should then look like the amazing decal you downloaded. If it does not, make sure you have the correct body selected as well as no decals applied onto it. If you're trying to do something like a custom flag or banner, you just need to apply a random one of your choice within the garage and then Alpha Console will override that random one with your desired custom one. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and look forward to my future videos on how to create your own custom skins and decals from scratch. I'll walk you through step-by-step step the creation process so you can do it yourself. This is Miss Macho. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in Rocket League.